Hi everyone, welcome back to the series. Today we're going to cover array lists. So what is an array list? It's basically like a vector or a list or some... It's a growable array, so it's an array that you can change the size of. And for this you basically need to allocate on the heap. There's no other way around it. Just because you don't know the value at compile time, that's the whole point in using a list. If you know the value at compile time, use an array. Um, I'm just close all this nonsense quickly. It's quite complicated this. So first I'm, I'm having array list just because to make it easier because I don't want to type in std.arraylist each time. All right, so here I've created some structs. So basically what I thought to do here, the best thing to do would be to have some kind of Imagine I've used vector threes, like in, in like an, imagine you have like, like a location in a game, right? So you have like home, work, oh, I don't know, shop, park, and you want to like create a journey here to here to here to here to here to here. What's the distance? Just work out the distance. That's basically what we're doing here. So first we have a vector three, which is just, you know, X, Y, Z, just a location. Uh, then we have a location which stores a vector three the name of it and the ID, just in case I need the ID. I probably don't actually use the ID in this, but just there. And then the enum, just for the UID, the ID. Uh, we have a few functions. So we have the get distance, which is basically, it's like the standard algorithm you use to get the distance between vector threes. You just, so you minus the X and minus the Y, minus the Z, and then you square them together and then you get the square root and it returns the distance in the float. So we're returning an F64 in float and it uses std.math square root which is in the standard library. Alright, so here we create a home. I, I could have made this global variables, I just didn't feel like it. I'm just creating a home position. Uh, they're just random positions. I didn't really have any logic here and I just print the location just to test it. Uh, here we have, I'm just testing the distance, um, but here we have the GPA, we're using the general purpose allocator, which I've gone through allocators before, this is just a general one. I'm not sure actually what the disadvantages of using the general purpose one is, I believe it has some error checking in it, but I thought, you know, why not, I'll just use this random one. Uh, here we create the home location, so we're just creating the structs, home location, work location, and then we create the array list, so we have journey list, equals array list. So it's a bit of a weird kind of, um, got some weird syntax. Array list, we put in the type here, dot init, and then we put in the allocator. So we're using the GP alloc allocator, so we send that. And here I'm just gonna print the type. The type was a bit weird, I believe. Let me look at the type it printed out. So yeah, it says that the type is array list dot array list aligned array list location null, question mark. I don't know what that means. I don't know. It's basically just, it's an array that you can change the size of. So we have a few things we need to know. So we have, I actually found this very annoying to do, to set up. It was quite complicated, to be honest. So here I'm just adding them in lists. So I'm going to add them in the order I want. So I'm going to go from home to the park, to the gym, to work, to shop, and then home again. And then I want to count the distance in total. Um, and then we yeah print the journey. Here I have catch on reach normal because we are uh, we are allocating on the heap when we do this. I want to say catch on reachable. We have to handle the error in some way. Catch on reachable basically means if I don't allocate and there's an error, just crash the program and tell me there's an error. That's what I'm doing there. And then we basically calculate the journey which is probably the hardest point I had because I didn't understand. There weren't too many good tutorials on this on the internet. So I kind of had to find out myself. So to get the length, you can't just do this. You can't say journey list dot len. You will get an error. You need to reference the items. So the items are the thing it's containing, which I just didn't see anywhere. Uh, if I look on the standard library, I'll just show you quickly on the standard library. Let's go to array list and then array list aligned and then uh, alignment, T, slice, types. And it's got all of these functions here, but I don't see anywhere where it says items. I don't see items listed anywhere. So it's like, how am I supposed to know this is how it works? I don't know. Found it somewhere. So I found that you're supposed to use items.len. And then when you reference the actual object, the index you think you're pointing to, you do dot items and then you use the index in brackets. 
So what I'm basically doing here is I'm say I'm going through there's six locations, right? Go for through the array through the loop, you go zero, and then I want the next index, so one. So I want to get distance between zero and one, and then add that to the total distance. So we have a total distance here. And then add one again. So it's like one distance between one and two. What's that? Add to that to basically just doing this until the next index is above the journey length. Then we want to cancel, otherwise we'll get seg fault. Um, and then I simply, yeah, I print the distance. So the results are, so we have, uh, yeah, it's just random distances. Uh, right, so the total distance was 1,300, whatever you want to call it, maybe it's meters. I don't know, I, I didn't really care what I was thinking, what I was doing. So home to the park is 70, park to the gym is 254, gym to work to 424, work to shop 400, and shop to home 150, and then it's 1,300. So it's just a, you know, to get the distance of everything. In theory, you could make some kind of algorithm that would generate what's the best, you know, order to do this in. Uh, but that's a completely different algorithm, not part of this. I'm just here to show array lists. So there are a few things you want to know about array lists. So we have init, which creates it, and we have dinit, which will delete everything. And we want to defer that, so it's at the end. As defer is just a good thing to use. Um, it's just a good practice to do this. Um, there are a few, uh, so we have dot items. So we have, uh, I think I'll just put it at the top. So we have like our cheat sheet. So we have array list syntax. All right, so we have init. Let me just get the, uh, how this, uh, the order of this. So we go array list item name. And then the indicator, okay. So I'll just do std.arraylist. std.arraylist. In brackets, you put the type of uh, variable, or like the, the type. Put the type here. Then you go dot init. Allocator, that's the basic syntax you want to use when you create it. Then we have std, let's say, I don't know, let's go const, can't be const. I don't know why you'd make a const one to be, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I think it has to be, so I'll just say list, list equals this. Um, and say, let's do list.d in it. Like that, it's a function call. So this will create, the array list. This destroys, well, I think it clears or destroys it, the array list. List dot items in, a, in an array like this uh, will get the first index of the list. list dot append with the type or variable name something like this adds to the list i believe there are a, a lot of other functions but this is the main ones you want to use um, then we have list dot items dot len gets the length gets the size or the current size of the list. All right, I'm not really too much. I, I I have a hard time finding this online actually to uh, to find because I, I couldn't get this to work until uh, I realized that you're supposed to use dot items here, which was quite annoying. Um, otherwise, after that, it worked. Um, but these are the main ones you want to use because if you go to the standard template library, I mean, look at you have all this like add many at add one append allocate slice uh there's a lot here honestly uh clear and free in invalidate all memory addresses um i'm not sure if that will like uh clear retaining capacity right so have clear retaining capacity which will keep it the same and you have lots of these in the standard template library uh get last could be useful uh there's quite a lot there's also insert, so you can put insert in some value somewhere. 
using a U size. But but these are the main ones you want to use. So when do you want to use this? You want to use this when you don't know the size of something. It's just like a list. It's just like, say, uh, in this journey, for example, the journey could be could be home, work, park, home. That's four. It could be home, work, home. That's three. It's like, you know, it's, we don't know the length. That's why we're doing this. Um, anyway, that's all for this episode. Let me know if you have any questions. See you guys next time.